Hey, Flix Chris, once again, welcome back to another video. This is uh, another. Actually, another tier list. And this one is on Party City. Um. God damn it. Pardon me, guys. I have such a. Sh bunch of, like, damn documents up. Here we go. This is a Party City tier list now. I've seen every single Party City uh, prop, um, but there are definitely some are like better than others. And let me shut my door so I don't want to hear me rambling and annoy somebody else. Because I'm rambling, I know it's annoying the people. But anyway, yeah, this is a Party City tier list for Halloween 2022. Um, now I love. Pretty much every single prop from Party City. I actually like them better than Spirit Halloween this year. Spirit Halloween had some stinkers for animatronics. Now, let's get right into it. First, we have um, the Zombie Boy, who is basically the limiting Zombie Boy. Is, is only who took a, took away the limit and put a trick or treat bag, bag in his hand and gave him like a jump scare. And he's cool. I like him a lot. I think he's very creepy. Um, he's definitely going to scare a bunch of trick-or-treaters for sure. And his design is just really, really awesome. I love the face sculpt on him. Um, he looks like a normal trick-or-treater who got bitten by a zombie. So he's going in A tier mainly because he's not as disturbing as Limiting Zombie Boy. But he's still really cool. Um, next is the Vulture... I don't like bird props. I mean, Lord Raven, I think, was better than this than this vulture guy, but I don't know. He's going in C. I don't like him that much. Another, probably my favorite one, for sure, is the box woman. She has like a big box on her head. She's using a straight jacket, and he, her, she has like a box on her head. Like I said, and you can see her head inside, bobbing around when she move side to side. It's really scary. It's really cool. She reminds me of two horror movies. The Jackal from 13 Ghosts and the, um... Sorry about that. And the, um... The Saw... This, I think Saw 5 uh, trash. So she is amazing. My favorite. She's going in S. This... Oh, it's a step pad. I don't use step pads for my animatronics, so I just he's going in D and D because it's just a step pad, nothing too special. Um, no, I'm gonna put it in C because it it is an interesting design. I just don't use step pads personally. Next is the static clown on a stake. I seen people unboxing it and showing it in videos. He looks cool. He's like a he's like he, he's like Venom if he was a clown. And I love the face sculpt. I love the tongue. I love the ice cream. And I apologize for my for my loud ass um that or niece outside screaming her damn head out. She's leaving tonight. I I promise. But please ignore that if you hear it. Anyway, yeah, he's cool. I just don't like static props that much. He's going to B tier. I like. He's just okay. Next is the twelve foot clown. I think he's twelve feet. So he's going to be fucking huge in person, like bigger than Crouchy. I'm talking bigger than a fucking Crouchy. So, um, I like the face sculpt on him. I like the eyes. I like the, the outfit he's got on. I like the little claws. So, he's cool. He's going into A tier. Right next to Zombie Boy. So, you can handle it. Next is the... What's it called? The Lava Demon. And I fucking love this thing. I think he's cool. I love the, the smoke coming from the horns. I like his phrases. I like the, the fact that he lights up, which is amazing. Um... His phrases, like, his phrases can be kind of cheesy, but he's definitely one of the creepier ones of the year. Him, the zombie kid, the 12-foot clown, and 
and the box woman. He's definitely the creepiest. Them three. And another one I'm about to discuss soon. So he's going to nest here. I like him a lot. Next is uh, the, the spider baby, I guess. It's like a... It's like a spider with like a baby's head on the eyes line up red. It reminds me of that scene from Toy Story 2 or 1 or 2. And it's it's basically this toy. It's like a, it's like a claw you find in those claw machines with like a baby doll head on it. And it's really cool. So... So yeah, it's really cool. I'm not sure if it does any... I'm not sure if it does anything, but... It's definitely creepy in a different kind of way, but it's going in the B tier. I just don't think he's that interesting, but he's definitely... I wouldn't say he's not interesting, he's just really, really un underwhelming. Uh, this next one, I don't really know of. And, um... It's basically looks like a tombstone with a face on it. I don't know. It's going in D. I'm so sorry, my s freaking oh my god. <sighs> She's too loud. I apologize, guys, but I can't help it. Just, just ignore her. I'm gonna keep talking over her so you won't be able to hear her. Anyway, next we have the ghost and the skeleton little trick or treat kids, and. They're interesting. I definitely think they're more for kids. Animatronics for kids. I like their their faces look cool. The ghost one that reminds me of uh, the old, very old Casper movie with Christina Ricci, which is an amazing movie. And the skeleton is giving me kind of like little skelly vibes. But they're awesome. I mean, I would definitely get them for my little brother for sure. Um, I know people don't like them, but yeah, they're going in B tier. Maybe because they're not technically for me, but I would use them some. I, I would use them in a, in a haunt for sure. Next is the raccoon popping out of a trash can. That's basically all I can say about it. The trash can obviously isn't real. It's like a piece of fabric. It's kind of like the man's possessed friend kind of type of deal, but this one is better. I like man's possessed friend, but this one is way more scary or way more effective because raccoons are scarier than dogs let's just be honest here um but i like him i like him a lot he's going in a and next week next we have i don't know what this thing is it looks like a skeleton hanger he's just going in d tier i don't know what the fuck that is next is the snake and it's cool. It's basically a sink that pops out of a box, and, and it like it like pops and like lays, it shoots his head down, and it grabs any and it looks like it's grabbing somebody. But it's basically a latex snake on a box, and it just and it just moves. Not that interesting. Not that great. But it is kind of cool. It's it's going in D tier. No, not B. D tier. Next is the possessed chained woman, I guess. And, um. Sorry. And. I like her a lot, too. I think she's definitely another scary one. I mean, you can basically. I mean, I thought she would do what Demonic Dahlia or Mr. Dark or Jack Straw does. But no, she. She pops up, she shakes her head a little bit, and she sits back down, which. I think it's a little bit more, and she's, I mean, she's a little bit more, I guess, ominous than Dahlia, Jack Straw, or Mr. Dark, but I like her a lot. I mean, I don't know what noise she makes, though, and, and the video just shows, shows music and her bobbing her head. It doesn't show any, any noise or anything, but I'm sure the noise she is going to make is very cool, so she's going in A, the A tier. Next is the clown fogger. He's basically graveyard grabbing corpse if he was a clown and he didn't move. He sprays fog from his mouth and there's a generic looking clown face. And 
and I don't like him. He's D. He sucks. I mean, I mean, the best foggy clown this year to me is Nozzles, but I just don't like this clown. He's, he's just a basic generic looking clown. Not that good at all. Next is another great prop, another fantastic prop, which is basically a popcorn machine and the clown head, there's a clown head that pops out. Now, if I was to be able to get this one, I would put popcorn on there, plus it would fit it would fit fucking amazing with a killer class rider space type of thing. You can put Shorty right, you can, you can take Shorty for him right there. And then you can put the uh, Mr. Punchy next to, next to Shorty. And you can have this right next to those two. And they would make a perfect Three Musketeers type of thing. I think those three would go great together. So he is going in S tier. Because he is really cool. Nothing bad to say about him. And that's it. Um, I gotta say, this is one of the, this is probably the best lineup for Spirit Halloween this year. Um, I know I said negative about Spirit Halloween, all, but their props just aren't that good. I mean, they're, they're, I say their best prop is Reagan, Lord Raven, Monty. Um, and the Broken Neck Girl. I mean, and uh, Betty Sharp. There's probably my top five. You didn't know those five aren't outstanding. But, Party City delivers way better, though. So, D, we got the, the Clown Fogger, the Reaper thing, the Tombstone thing. C, Terror is the Vulture, the Sap Pad, the Snake. B is the Clown on the Snake, the Spider Baby, and the Two Trick or Treaters. A is the Raccoon, the Clown, the Zombie Boy, and the girl who bobs her head S is the devil, the box lady, and the popcorn machine clown I think all these from B to S are great I mean I could definitely think of more, I, I could definitely do a part 2 on last year's Party City but last year I mean I mean, this is probably the best year though, let's just say that right now this is their best year um, uh, but yeah, that's, that's about it, so, let me know in the, in the comments, what are your favorite Party City animatronics? I'd say my top three are the Box Woman, number two is the Zombie Boy, maybe, yeah, the Zombie Boy, and then the, the girl with the hair in her face. But what do you think? What is your favorite Party City animatronic? Let me know in the comments below, and, that, and with that said, guys, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more reactions. Bye-bye.